what it do, baby. Hey guys, thank you for liking, watching, subscribing. And today I got Thomas Lipman, who got top 10 at the Core TCG event, best of one. Uh, quite a bit of yourself, Thomas. Congratulations. Hey, my name's Thomas Lipman. Uh, I played this game for a bit. I decided to take Baby on with this event, and uh, it did pretty well. Yeah, you know, I, I was telling you before, we were supposed to play last year at Coco because we both topped, and I couldn't stay for the day two event. And I feel like I only top when I don't play Vegeta, but I'm like cursed. I'm like a uh, Red Skull in Avengers, who's like, I have, I have to like uh, help them get to a treasure I can't find myself, bro. But like, I'm so happy that you top of Vegeta because in Vegeta State Army, people love this thing. And I've been telling them like, it's just like a worse modern. And I'm glad you proved me wrong. I'm glad you topped with it. Um, do you think? Because I'm looking at your deck list, and it's like an upgraded version from the old one. Do, would you change anything on these ratios at all from what you played before? Yeah, I'd probably swap the Zamasu super combo out with probably like a different super combo to draw more. It really didn't do what I thought it should have done. And then uh, the Vegeta Unison. I was running the Gogeta one, but with Bessel 1, I didn't know how Dark Broly was, and I figured that was my only way of not getting hit with a bunch of 30Ks in my face, so the Unison would be the swap. Yeah, that's a swap. But overall... I feel like the Gogeta, just because, I mean, your hand can get sacky a little bit, um, just because you can, I mean, you can get rid of cards and dig deeper for stuff you might need. Um, and what was I going to say? And a super combo, because you have two of the Samasu. And then if I scroll down here, you've got two of the Counter Blast Sun Gohan, which I think is a really good super combo. I love that super combo. But yeah, you're talking about like the, the Krillin and stuff. Um, that's it. You, you, like everything everything else ratio-wise looks really good. So you're going for like a wide border state kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, like the uh, multicolor cards, it's really... I mean, compared to the old version, it cut down a lot because the baby number looks at the top seven, so you don't even need to really keep the Goku or Baby Ape in your hand. Usually, you can just search it, so it's not really a huge issue. But for best of one, it's pretty much this type of deck. Best of three would probably be a little different. Yeah, and that's the thing about that I love about best of one. It reminds me of like the Latin America or Europe kind of tournaments where like anything can top really but i like that you, like a lot of your like i love that you have baby vengeful vengeful upheaval at like at like four of right here how much do you like that card and are you keeping that in the because i'm gonna try this deck again obviously i'm gonna try and see would you take him away have the six drop uh epoch grudge grade eight baby or how do you like those ratios no, the three drop is what makes the deck uh, go super wide because, I mean, when you arrive at the four drop and you play Baby Number for free, once you attack with Baby Number, you can free evolve the three drop on the Baby Number, and then you just pay one yellow, put whatever Vegeta GT in your drop area under it, and then you get to restand either a four drop Baby or the three drop uh, unfair choice. It comes back in active mode. Right, 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 right. I mean, say you, say you play another four drop, then you can play another baby number for free since you don't have the first one. And just kind of, for one energy, you keep on going. And you know what? Those are 15 and 19 Ks. So like I, like you were saying earlier that Violent Rays, I mean, doesn't... Because you would expect Violent Rays to be like an awesome like out to this deck. But if you go for that chain, it's pretty nuts that you can swing like four more times without worrying about that. Yeah, you just go super wide. And at the three drop, I was able to uh, play the unfair choice from my deck against the Shenron player. I rest mode all his blockers and he didn't have Nimbus. So I just kept on attacking him and he just couldn't handle it. And I want to talk about that because if you didn't play... I was talking to Eddie, because Eddie St. Hilaire goes to my locals. I was asking him, like, hey, bro, what about this deck? And he and he's like, well, I don't know, maybe he played, like, bad people. But there's no way, because the way, the reason I heard about your deck is because you beat my friend who was playing uh, Red Broly. 
uh, Nick, Nicholas uh, Kennerman, and he's, an, he's a really good player. He was my locals. I know him. I can vouch for him. And I know he's at a scrub. He a good, he's a good player. He's a really good player. And he knows his deck. He's been playing, for, I think, longer than I have. And and that's when I heard about it. And then uh, you told me you played Blue Baby. And you played Shenron. Uh, you played, yeah, tell me about the rest of your matchups. What else did you play, bro? I played against uh, Robert Reeds. I play, he used the Tricolor Launch. I played against the Shenron deck. I played against Blue Baby. I mean, he had all the negates. It was just, he went for the Gohan to where I had to bomb deck a card in my hand. And I mean, that's a, back in the day, you'd always take the Topo Challenge with this deck. And only losing one card is a lot better than two cards. So he didn't realize I could keep on attacking. So the baby guy didn't really get enough energy or synergy going for him. No, that makes sense. Um, because, I mean, the Son Goku and the Great Apes, I mean, they were like double and triple strike. So, like, I mean, you only need maybe two swings to land, and it's like a 30k, you know what I'm saying? So, like, and also you're drawing off of the, like, heartfelt, so depending on how you're going. So that's pretty good. Um, what, uh, okay, the Vegeta, one part that I'm wondering about is the baby vengeful blow and the Vegeta, mm -hmm. um, then... like, the counter plays. Are you, uh, how do you feel about those? Uh, with the Vegeta Unison, the uh, counterplay Vegeta didn't really work out as well as I thought it would, just because you're losing your counters. So I'd probably keep the Vegeta the counterplay if you use like a different Unison to just keep on getting more counters. And then the Vengeful Blow was to go against um, Sin Shenron mainly, because when they haze the 7 drop bait, I mean, it's pretty much like an instant... You're gonna do that. You're not gonna try and out combo it. Yeah, I would just play the vengeful blow. No, just go into another eight. So it was like an answer to Haze, mainly. That makes sense. All right, so there's plenty of room because also it's a 60 card deck, right? Yeah. So I mean, you can shave off cards to make it 50. No, I see what you mean. Um, and a Heron's lineage is perfect. What what turn would you say this usually goes off by? What is the kill turn that you plan for, and what's the turn that it usually went off at? Usually you can win on turn three, just because you can use... I mean, you arrival the four drop turn three, then you X-Evolve all the way up to the seven drop. So you can do everything on turn three, but realistically, turn four, or if you're trying to be defensive against all the aggro decks. Right, 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 I got you. Anything else? Uh, all right, well, that's pretty awesome. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to see how it goes. I mean, this deck used to be, like, the most busted deck. Like, I remember when this first came out, and I feel so bad because people were asking about it on the page, and I told them, like I said earlier, like, this is just, like, a strictly worse mod. Mm -hmm. And, like, here it is topping again, and it just goes to show you, like, how good. Like, I love Best of One. I know it's not for everybody, but, like, and you play good people. Like, that, like that, that launch match, like, that's that's. You don't run Nimbus. I mean, you run two Topo, which does help, but but that's crazy. I mean, your hand does get huge. Um, I think you were right though about the Gogeta Unison. I'll, I'll I might try it out. Uh, because it does recycle your hand. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I mean, if you do get too clogged up, it's definitely there. And then your leader gets a 5K boost. So I mean, it's not like it's a terrible idea. Yeah. Exactly. That's what you mean. All right, brother. Uh, do you have any, uh, any shout-outs or any closing thoughts or anything uh, you'd like to say? Are you going to play this deck again, or it's just like a one-time off? Uh, thing? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to try it out. Obviously, set 13 is on the rise, so everything changes when a new set comes out. I definitely want to... I always love this deck, so I want to give it a shot again. Um, I mean, obviously, there's meta decks out there, just give non-meta decks a shot and you never know what you might get you can surprise everyone in top that's one thing i like about that's one thing i like about latin american and the european people because they they have hope on the like the decks they love they'll play them like they they never give up on majin vegeta like the red gogeta decks they still get seen played and there's decks that they'll play that i'm like how are they still playing that and they're just winning with them and it's awesome, and I love that. And that's what I like about Best of One. I think here it brings a little bit of that, where, like, anything can top. And you did really well. 
I know Mecca got number one, but uh, if you guys are watching, we're <laughs> probably getting Saint of the Week. Top, we got a uh, Saint of the Week every week. Last week it was Jason Scott. We had a the Jason Scott arc is going on right now with the memes, and uh, you'll be there as well. Uh, oh man, I can't wait to see the memes. <laughs> it's gonna be great. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for liking, watching, subscribing. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you, Thomas. I appreciate you, brother. Yeah, man, have a good day.